Hey guys, it's Kyle again and welcome back to Warzone 2. Today we're doing the FGX Imperium versus the SPX 80. In case you guys don't know, the FGX is meant to be the intervention from Modern Warfare 2 and the SPX is meant to be the MSR from Modern Warfare 3. So we're going to be comparing these two guns, we're going to figure out which of these two is actually better in Warzone 2. This is probably going to be the last sniper versus video I do. Depending on how many views we actually get in this video, I might consider doing red gun versus videos like the P90 of Modern Warfare versus the PDSW with this game just comparing the warzone and warzone 2 guns but that is if these videos actually do well so yeah we're just going to get to some gameplay and if you guys are new around here and you enjoy these versus videos be sure to like and subscribe for more and these are the classes i use for this video so you've got all the damage range attachments you've got the explosive attachment on the intervention this is what makes it a one shot headshot if you want to you could swap out the ads attachment for an optic or the fire rate increasing bolt or you could swap out the muzzle for it but yeah this is the weapon tuning for the muzzle this is the weapon tuning for the barrel this is the weapon tuning for the laser this is the weapon tuning for the ammunition and this is the weapon tuning for the rear grip and yeah that's the intervention class now this is the class i made for the spx now on this gun you can actually get the explosive rounds meaning you can actually get a one shot head shot with three armor plates but i'm going to talk about that more in the video yeah this is the weapon tuning for the muzzle now on the barrel i do have the max damage range tuning but if the ads speed is a bit slow you could always put the weapon tuning all the way to the ads speed side this is the weapon tuning for the laser this is the weapon tuning for the stock and this is the weapon tuning for the rear grip and yeah that's the class and yeah guys enjoy the video all right so here we are we got the intervention and the msr so out of these two guns which one is better UAV active. Nice. Ooh, there is one major difference between these two guns, and that is the SPX doesn't have the explosive round for the ammunition, so you cannot get a one-shot headshot with three plates. The damage on the SPX is actually pretty good, so you can get one-shots when they don't have three plates sometimes, but you can't get a one-shot headshot with three plates because of the fact that it doesn't have the explosive round, so that is a major thing to think about. But saying that, the damage of the SPX isn't that bad. It's really weird to compare the these two guns because one of them can get a one shot headshot the other one can but the damage on both it, it feels kind of similar the spx it, it might have a better bullet velocity like the drop off is actually it's pretty hard to handle with the intervention still getting used to the snipers on this game obviously the intervention is better in fire rate right? based off of how these two guns work with the best class help i honestly think the intervention is the best one out of these two guns it just depends on your personal preference because i've seen a lot of people use the spx on I've been killed a bunch of times by this gun. I think the intervention is just a bit better because I feel like both guns are similar in terms of how many bullets it takes to kill and with the intervention having that one shot headshot advantage as well as the fire rate advantage. I just think the intervention is an overall better gun. Hey man, how you doing? I'm out. I can't lie, the SPX isn't even a bad gun. It's just the intervention has certain advantages over it. To be honest, I think all the snipers in this game aren't that bad. I tried using the SAB before. That gun's obviously not a one-shot headshot. Because of the fire rate on that gun, I felt like I was doing okay. I feel like as long as the sniper has a decent fire rate, you can actually do well with them. Oh. I got him again. I feel like you've got to lead the shot a bit more with this. Downed him again. Shoot that, mate. So yeah, like I said, in summary, I think the intervention's better than the SBX. So yeah, like I said, guys, let me know which of these two guns do you think is better in Warzone 2. Okay, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I always say, if you are new around here, be sure to like and subscribe for more. And let me know down below in the comments which of these two guns do you think is better. And yeah, guys, I will see you on the next video.